It's been about a year and also 10,000 miles since I last emptied the oil catch can on this 2017 Honda Accord with a GDI engine. It's also the first time I'll be draining my oil catch can since switching to Valvoline Restore and Protect. We'll see if it has any effect on the quantity of the oil in the catch can. I took some time to do some measurements. Now let's get this. Let's go ahead and loosen that oil catch can. If you have a GDI engine, it's a good idea to install an oil catch can as it reduces the amount of oil that gets fed into your intake manifold through the PCV system. And it's even more needed if your car is GDI and also has an EGR valve. That's just the perfect combo for gunk top intake valves. You always want to have a regular schedule for draining your oil catch can so that it doesn't get full and you start sucking oil into the intake manifold. Okay, catch can is off. Let's see how much oil we have here. I'll say that's about a third of the way full. Definitely much more than the quantity when I last emptied this at 5,000 miles. I'll use this 60 ml syringe to aspirate the oil. I'll go ahead and expel this air and then make sure that I get everything from the catch can. So that looks to be about 50 mils of oil. When I measured the oil in the catch can after 5,000 miles before Valvoline Restore and Protect, I drained 20 mils of oil. So this is an additional 30 mils. But I don't think this is anything. It could actually be an increase in evaporative loss. Or it may just boil down to the fact that the engine was working under different operating conditions for this last 5,000 miles. It's essential that you use a solvent to back flush the brass filter just to ensure that that doesn't get clogged. Brake, cab or throttle body cleaner are all good solvents you can use. This catch can has really slowed the rate of build up on my intake valves. Before fitting a catch can, they used to have this oily wet look. But now they have more of a dry appearance and so carbon has less wet gunk to stick to. If you want to find out how to install an oil catch can, the video on when I installed the catch can should be on the screen. I also have the links to everything you would need down below. Hope this has been helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share if it has and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace!